Hey, what's going on, everybody? Verdi here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today, we're going to talk about Vizier Velis. He is a Dark Elf Legendary Attack Champion. On his A1, he attacks one enemy three times. Each hit has a 35% chance of increasing the duration of all debuffs by one turn. Now, this is honestly his like, main move, one of the main reasons why he is used. We're going to show him on Clan Buffs. And the reason why he is used is because he extends debuffs. Pretty much with Vizier, you can run one poison or one defense down weaken, and with just a little bit of luck, you will extend all of those debuffs, and you will do a lot more damage on clan boss with Vizier. Not to mention, it is a three hit A1, so he does a really good amount of damage with Giant Slayer. On his A2, attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a 50% chance of placing a block buffs debuff, a 50% decrease attack debuff, and a 100% heal reduction debuff for two turns. Now, this is what you don't want to land. You don't want to land the block buff, the decrease attack, and the heal reduction. So the way you use Vizier in the beginning of the clan buffs is you pretty much just manual his A1 until you extend all the debuffs that you want on the clan boss. But we're going to go and show that later when we actually run the clan boss. And then for his A3, attacks one enemy, applies a debuff spread effect, taking two random debuffs from the target and placing them on all enemies. Places a perfect veil buff on this champion for three turns if the target is under two or more debuffs. For his passive, places a perfect veil buff on this champion for two turns at the start of each round. And for his aura, he has a increased ally attack in dungeons by 34%. Now, he is mostly used on clan boss. You can use him in dungeons. He can do decent on Fire Knight, but honestly, he is mostly a clan boss champion. He has very nice defense for an attack champion, and then really good attack, decent hit points, and a very good speed. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at his artifacts. So because we are actually running an unkillable team with him, we don't need to build lifesteal. If you're running that out, you might not need to wear lifesteal gear. Also, if you have Valkyrie team, you also probably don't need to wear Lifesteal gear. But if you don't have one of those, you're probably best off using Lifesteal gear for Vizier. Now, for his total stats, we have 205 speed. So he needs 205 speed for this particular comp that we're using. We're using two Maneater, Brockus, Draco, and Vizier comp. Now, I know that I think Scratch, AK-47, one keyed UNM, with this particular comp, we're not going to be able to one key with this account. I really just want to show Vizier and his potential on the clan boss and how good he can actually make your teams. So as I was saying, 205 speed, this doesn't have to be 205 speed. It could be different speeds depending on what your comp is. And then you're going to want a lot of accuracy. And then if you can put in crit rate and crit damage with attack, he's just going to do more damage so we have a crit rate set and speed set pretty much we went with accuracy and crit rate subs speed and crit damage where we can get it attack percentage chest speed boots crit damage gloves also crit damage neck down the road when we get a little bit better gear we could put in 100% crit rate on him I did just build this unkillable comp for CMAC a few days ago and this is the best that I could come up with but he two keys very easily and we're going to improve on the team as he gets better artifacts. For skills, you're going to want his A1 booked. Now, c -Mac got extremely lucky and ended up landing his books all on A1. If you can do that, go ahead and do so. If not, you might have to fully book Vizier. I don't know. I mean, you're going to have to manual a lot longer in the beginning of the fight if you do not book this. So you can still use him. But he won't be as effective, especially because he'll be using his other moves once you put it on auto. Okay, so for his masteries, you pretty much need Giant Slayer. And then you're going to want the Retribution counter. So when you take more than 25% of their max hit points from a single enemy skill, you have a chance to counter. You definitely want that. And then, like I said, you want Giant Slayer. Everything else is really optional. I didn't get this because he's going to be at low health with Maneater Unkillable. So I got Grim Resolve instead. And then Methodical is also something that you're going to want because he's going to do more damage with his A1. Okay, so that's it for the Masteries. Let's go ahead and run the Clan Boss. Two, 
one. So we can now Vizier's gonna A1. There we go, we got some increase. <coughs> A2 with the second man eater. Get some poisons on there. And then hopefully we get some extensions here. Nope. Once again, here with Vizier, we're going to A1, hoping for extensions. The thing that's going to make this really nice too is that once Vizier extends the decrease defense and weaken, we're not even going to have to use Draco's move anymore. So Draco's going to continue A1ing and poisoning, which is going to provide us with a lot more damage at the end of the day as well. Okay, once again, A1. There we go, perfect. Getting some extensions. Poisons, and now if we could start extending, that would be perfect. Just like that. We have two, four, six, eight, ten. It's exactly what we want. So we could go one more turn here, and then I think we could put it on auto. Sometimes I take it off auto just. Ooh, look at that, perfect. Just when it's before Vizier's turn, and just click A1 to make sure that we extend. But we're going to go one more turn here, and I think we'll be good. See, right, right here, we don't have to defense down and weaken. We can just A1 for an extra 177k damage, which normally wouldn't happen if we didn't have the extensions. Oh, look at that, perfect. Absolutely beautiful. All right, and see, like, we'll use poisons here because that'll do more damage than just the A1 by itself, even though we don't really need poisons. Okay, it was here again. Come on, give me some. Oh, perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, A1. Vizier's A1. Oh, look at that. That's great. That's great. I think we can put it on auto now. So, like, right there, if I didn't have a lot of debuffs, you could just take it off of auto and click on Vizier right before he gets his turn. So, like, right here. You can A1, and then you can Vizier's A1 again, and you can put it on auto. If you're paying attention. But like I said, around turn 7 or 8, if you get a couple of debuff extensions, you can just go ahead and usually put it on auto. No matter what team you're running, if you have the bar full with like 5 or 6 extensions, you should be all set for the rest of the fight. Unless you get extremely unlucky. So yeah, Vizier makes your clan boss team really, really good because it just allows you to have a lot more damage. Debuffs never fall off. And like I was mentioning before, with defense down and weakened being up the whole time, Draco doesn't actually use his A3, which at the end of the day provides us with a lot more damage. See, like, we have one of those poisons getting a little bit low. If Vizier doesn't counter attack here or extend that, there we go. Never mind. <clears throat> He's doing perfect. But yeah, and as I was mentioning before, with better artifacts on everyone, probably Savage here on Brockus and Draco and probably even Vizier, you can one key Ultra Nightmare with this comp. 
I don't know whether Scratch put out a video on this yet or not. <clears throat> His comp definitely has better gear, but I kind of just wanted to show Vizier and how good he really is on the clan boss and why he is good. Brockus works really well here with Vizier and Draco because they're both attack based champions, so they hit harder with Brockus' attack up. In this unkillable comp, Brockus is an awesome, awesome damage dealer. Obviously, no one's going to be able to beat Draco here, especially with this year extending the debuffs. But Brockus does really, really well. We're actually getting really good luck with this year extending, too. See, once he's booked, it's so much easier. We were running this first when he wasn't booked, and I had to uh, cut in and stop auto and uh, A1 with him, kind of like I was showing you guys. Like, as you see there, that's 100k damage from Vizier there with the two-hit move that he does. So it's definitely worth it to build him for damage. His A1 hits decently hard. Three hits, 25k each, so 75k. 75k damage. Or 30k per hit. Yeah, Vizier's definitely uh, a very good champion. And he does do good damage himself. He is not just there for the debuff extension. We're doing a really good average here as well. Over a million a turn. I'd like for this comp to always do over 50. Which it should. It definitely should. I don't think those debuffs are going to fall off. If they do, I'll be very sad. Yeah. Man-eaters as well, do a decent amount of damage. So if you are trying to one-key with this comp, you're going to have to build everyone for really, really high damage. 100% crit rate, as much crit damage as you can get, as much attack as you can get, seeing as how they are all attack champions, Brox's attack up will buff everyone. Seven, not bad. I'll take it. No extensions. Come on, Vizier. Don't fail me at the end here. Perfect. Man, if you just use this A1 only, if you could like choose what abilities characters use in a fight, like before the fight, and just make it so Desir uses A1 only, I think he would end up doing a lot more damage. Because it's not really about increased debuff at that point. I think the three hit A1 with the Giant Slayer overall does more damage than his other abilities. Because if that procs Giant Slayer, he's doing a very high amount of damage. But yeah, this will definitely be over 50. So I'm happy with that. After the fight, I'll just go ahead and show the speeds of everyone real quick. But pretty much, man -eaters, one man eater is 240, one man eater is 242. And then we have a DPS at 206 and two DPS at 205. Oh no, we had some poisons fall off. I wasn't paying attention. 
But they're back on. Yeah, 53.28. Vizier, 6.2 mil. Very nice. And we have Draco, 28 million. Obviously, he did that damage because of the extended debuffs from Vizier. So, the team, once again, let's show the speeds real quick. 205 speed on Vizier. 206 speed on Draco. 205 speed on Brockus. And then 240 and 242 on the man eaters. 242 and 240. Don't worry about the third man eater. So for Vizier, one more time, we are running a good amount of attack. We're looking for a 100% crit rate once we can get it. 244 accuracy. You're going to need accuracy for the extension of debuffs. Skills, you want the A1 booked and masteries, Giant Slayer, and. Retribution is really the two key ones, along with Methodical and Grim Resolve. So overall, Vizier is a great damage dealer on the clan boss, as well as making your Poisoner do a crap load of more damage. He's also decent in dungeons, but like I said, I would mostly use Vizier on the clan boss to debuff extent, kind of like I just showed on my Unkillable comp. I think that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Please leave a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.